Bill Wilson here, Wilson Combat. I'm here with my old buddy Ken Hackathorn. Uh, Ken, got some pretty cool AR stuff I want to show you here. All right, man, let's see what you got. I uh, got a, quite a variety of stuff here. Uh, one thing I want to show you is our V3 scope mount. Mm. Uh, this product we put a lot of testing in. Looks like yeah. a lot of work too. A lot, a lot of work into this. We put a lot of testing into it. Um, what we learned with using uh, the high-speed video camera is that a lot of these scope mounts that really can lever forward and you put a scope on them that, that weighs, say, more than 25 ounces, really, uh, which almost all the 30 millimeter they, longer range they scopes. They flex pretty bad. It, it was actually pretty scary what we saw with some of the mounts on the market. Mm -hmm. I don't know how scopes could survive the amount of flexing oh, that bet. that scope mount was allowing that scope to yeah. do. And so that was one of our main missions. We wanted it to be lightweight. This mount weighs under six ounces. That's, that's impressive. Ex that's extremely strong. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what we've found is when we fire a 338 Federal with a 32 ounce scope mounted on a 338 Federal in this mount, under, watching with a high speed video camera, we get no flex. You can see the barrel flex. Most people don't realize how much flex there is yeah, in these a barrels. Lot of, a lot of flex. A lot of flex when they fire. Yeah. But the scope, the scope and the mount, everything, everything stays in line and we don't get all this flex. Yeah. So it's a really good product. Uh, we call it a V3 mount. And kind of where we got that name is the V in the center of it there and it mounts with three, three mounting mm -hmm. bolts. And it's primarily for 30 millimeter? We do a one inch and a 30 oh, millimeter. Excellent, yeah. excellent. And so that's one of the new products we've got there. Uh, we've got new charging handles. Um, we've got them set up to where you can you can operate it from either side. So it's basically an yeah, it's, am, it's an am, ambidextrous, you know, uh, charging handle, and we have it in three different sizes. You know, I mean, you and I prefer the small one like this, yeah, yeah. but a lot of people prefer much larger ones, you know, than this small size. So we've got, you know, we've got the the small one, which, you know, like I say, we prefer. And then we've got the medium size, which I've got installed on the rifle here. And then we've got what I'm assuming is probably the three gun model, you know, for the- Kind of the Papa Bear. Yeah, for the Papa Bear model or whatever there that's got the, the huge wings on it. But like I say, it's the same thing. You can operate it from either side, you know, both sides at the same time, whatever you want to do, okay? And these are these are fairly new products right here, right? These this this is brand brand new product. Okay, yeah, just cool. come, just coming online, and we have them for the AR-15 size guns as well as the AR-10 oh, size guns. Excellent. excellent. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then we've got a ambidextrous uh, selector, you know, safety selector. And let's face it, you've got you know the ambi safety business for the 1911 has always been a big seller, and certainly like with the X9, you offer it so. I mean, let's face it, there are some left-handers in the world. Yeah, yeah. this this is our standard ambi, uh, you know, uh, some, something that probably is real appropriate on our, our new Protector Series rifles. And then we have a fully machined bulletproof version of it coming online shortly that, that will have kind of a three-hole pattern levers on it that will match, okay. the, ch match the charging handles. They're not, okay. they're, that product's not available yet, but it's it's nearing production now. Well, I noticed, Bill, when you put the gas tube and the and the gas regulator out, uh, my guess is you've come up with a new way to skin a cat because we know that adjustable gas ports on ARs has been somewhat of a problem as far as them carboning up and not working anymore. So, how did you? What, what's the story on this? Yeah, like you said, I mean, if you shoot a, a gun with uh, a conventional screw in um, adjustable gas block on it. If you shoot it thousand rounds, for example, it's going to carbon up and you're not going to, you're going to now you don't, now you no longer have any adjustment. Right. What we've done here, uh, my guys have developed one that has like uh, an auger system in it. So it's bas it's basically, we got two super hard materials in here with like a, almost a slip fit on the components with a sharp edge in there. And so, so once it carbon, a carbon cutter. Yeah, once it once it carbons up, all you got to do is just put a common screwdriver in there and run it back and forth a couple of times and you clean that out and now it's click 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 it's it's back. And it, it these do click. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's got click click. Which a lot of them there. don't, by the way. Yeah, yeah. So then it cleans out, and you go ahead and uh, you know. So you basically can count, to figure out where it, whether it's, whether you're screwed all the way in or all the way out. You can, you know, you can basically screw it out to clear the carbon, and screw it back into the setting you were at before, mm -hmm. basically to duplicate where your proper setting is. That or you know, if you need, if you were trying to turn the gas down because you're putting a can on, or turn the gas up because you're taking a can off. Yeah. You know, you can go ahead and adjust it, even though you fired thousands of rounds through the gun. Yeah. And I noticed you, it's set for a screwdriver head, so you, if you've got a good screwdriver, you're good to go as far as yeah, breaking that common carbon. common tool. And these ship with a proprietary gas tube. So, you know, you, you, you buy the, the unit based on diameter, like if you get a 750 or an 875 or whatever, you know, and also your gas length. So, that, you know, so you specify, okay, I want a 750 block, you know, with a carbine, carbine light link gas tube or a mid-length gas tube. And that's basically what you're offer is carbine and mid-length, is that all, primary? All, all lengths. We, we, all we, 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 length we, we have pistol, carbine, uh, mid, intermediate, which is kind of something proprietary to us. It's between mid and rifle, and then we have the rifle length. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm a big fan of the intermediate length. Yeah. You know, on, a, on most 16... It does soften the guns out. Most 16 to 18 inch barrels, you can get them running with an intermediate length, and it really softens the recoil down and makes it makes uh, the gun unlock you know later and and re, you know let without the pressure much, drop without as much stress on the bolt head yeah not near as much stress on your bolt head what tell me about this bolt carrier group okay um this is our same carrier we've 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 been running you know uh it's a you know bag particle inspected you know high-end bolt and bolt carrier assembly but it's got the polished nickel boron coating on it really slick. And, oh it, it it is slick and this thing even you know we don't like to run our ARs dry but if if they get dry with this slick finish they seem to keep on working you yeah. know so and I know if you're running a suppressed gun that can they can carbon up pretty quick that can be a big issue it makes cleanup so much easier on, on a suppressed paper gun. towel and you're, you're yeah good to you. oh you just you swap it down relube it and stick it back in there and this is just now coming online yeah this is coming online so you can basically buy this as an accessory and, and refit your gun yeah cool. buy it as accessory and and uh, well talking about cans uh, I see something a little different than I've seen before I know you guys have been in the suppressor business for a while but Tell me about this interface and what you've got there, can -less. Okay, we've got an interface that goes on the barrel for the new suppressor version that, that you just mount it with a common socket wrench. And this is our new Quell suppressor. Uh, it's called the what? Quell. Q-U-E-L-L. -L. The uh, solid stainless full auto ready one like this, I think it weighs around 13, 13 point something ounces. That's what this one runs. And then we also do a hybrid stainless aluminum version for primarily for hunting that weighs only nine ounces. Oh boy. That's the one I use primarily from on my guns there. And like I say, it's, it's, you know, you got your interface there that doesn't have to be indexed, you know, cause a lot of them, when you put the interface on, they have to be timed. To be and timed. so you got, you got, you got to use the shims. And I mean, it takes you 30 minutes to get it perfectly timed yeah. and, all and even stuff. then sometimes it isn't yeah this one doesn't matter it doesn't matter where it, you know just thread it on there and snug it down and wherever it wherever it ends up so basically you got a flash hider yeah if necessary it, and then it just slides on it's got the rapid thread you know mounting system just just like our old whisper units you know same kind of mounting system it goes up and it snugs up into a tapered area and once it locks in uh, give it a like that and it's they stay yeah. tight I've, I've never had one shoot loose Wow. You know, I, I run suppressors on all, almost all of my personal guns, you know, hog gun and stuff. Uh, we've got one last thing. we got uh, uh, fully machined out of A7 tool steel uh, bolt stop. Oh, cool. Uh, we've got them available for the AR-15, which isn't a necessity because the breakage of bolt stops in an AR-15 isn't that big a deal, you know, because the bolt carrier symbols. The bolt mass isn't it, that Bolt mass is not there. But... If you have a cast or mem bolt stop in an AR-10, they, they, they break all the time. I I mean, snap, if, if, I've seen it. I've seen guys with that, yeah. that amount of bolt mass just snaps them off. Oh, yeah. If, if, you, if you use it shooting groups on the range, for example, load five rounds, shoot it, shoot it to bolt stop, do that a lot, you will break a cast or a mem bolt stop before yeah. long. Yeah. And with the fully machined S7 uh, bulletproof one, We've never had a failure on one of them, I mean. Well, you guys are moving on in the AR business. You've got some really good products coming online. I'm, I'm uh, 
I'm pretty excited about that. I, the charging handles are great. This, I think, for those of us that are not fans of cleaning guns all the mm -hmm. time, I think that's a big step forward. And certainly if you run a can, an adjustable gas block is a, is a major advantage. Well, that, using guns with and without a can, it's a big advantage and certain calibers. You know, like 300 Blackout and 458 SOCOM, you know, having the ability to adjust your gas is a really, really good thing. Yeah. You know, because if you set the gas port right for the gun without a can and you throw a can on there, that increased bolt thrust, you know, doesn't need that much gas to make that thing work. Yeah. You and know. You a lot um, of back pressure. Yeah, yeah. It, it's hard, right. hard, hard on your gun to, to, to overgas them. That's pretty cool, Bill. I'm, uh, I'm jazzed to see this. Okay. All right. We'll appreciate it. Okay. Hey, folks, check it out. Good stuff coming your way.